Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTech. In today's video, I'd like to order the Call of Duty gameplay and the graphics comparison between the Poco F3 GT versus the Realme X1 Max device. And during this process of demonstration, I'm trying to use a real-time refresh rate meter. As you can see, this is a refresh rate, not FPS. So don't get confused by that. And let's see, what are the default settings we do have in these both phones? So that's what I'm going to exactly show you by default. So first, let me try to show you the settings option which is present here. So here's the settings option and we go to the let's go to the graphics settings and let's see so these are the graphics settings which i'm trying to use high quality and the maximum as you can see maximum fps right now i'm trying to use and first let's start playing the multiplayer so and same thing applies to the realme x and max as well so you cannot use a very high so very high is not possible at this moment only high and the maximum same thing poco 3 gt also you cannot use very high high options so both phones are having at this moment same kind of settings only at this point then nothing has been changed so now let's start playing the multiplayer game first in both phones let's see what happens if you try to play the multiplayer game how much fps we can actually achieve so right now that this refresh rate is showing about 120 hertz that means somewhere around we are getting more than 60 but let's see in this fps meter so whether we can actually get that kind of values or not so right now i'm trying to play the multiplayer game in the Call of Duty and we are seeing the real time FPS meter it's kind of close to 62 FPS as you can see 62 we are getting maybe that is the reason you are getting this kind of 120 hours refresh rate here but I cannot find any kind of more than uh, 60 I cannot see any kind of 90 FPS nothing at all in the Poco F3 GT overall So as you can see only 60 fps and whereas in the realme x and max same thing so it's remaining around exactly 60 fps only during this time of gameplay as you can see it's exactly 60 nothing has been changed as you can see only 60 fps will be getting in this realme x and max as well So now let's try with the different options. Let's go to the different options. Let's go to settings and I'm trying to change the quality setting just to see whether we'll be able to achieve any kind of more than 60 FPS or not. I'm trying to go to the medium quality and let's start the multiplayer. And same thing I'm gonna do for even in the Realme X and Max as well. Let me need to go back in the Realme X and Max. I'm trying to go to the multiplayer and go to the settings and graphics and I'm trying to use the medium. Yes, so I did set to the medium graphics and now let's see what happens in this phone. And in the Poco F3 GT, still we are seeing the 120 hours refresh rate. I'm not sure why, but still the real time FPS, it's not showing above 60. Sometimes only 61 and 62. That's it. Not much, nothing much more than that. We are not seeing any kind of more values than that. So it was remaining around 61. So this is using the multiplayer gaming only. So only using multiplayer, I'm trying to do the demonstration. So if 90 FPS is working, so it, it should have been worked in the multiplayer itself. And in the real X and Max, it's still loading right now, as you can see at this moment. And we are not seeing any kind of uh, FPS increasing more than 60, as you can see at this point. It's staying only six, 60 and 61 FPS only. It's not increasing more than that. And in the real X and Max, with the medium setting, let's see what has been with the medium settings. So let me try to run and let me try to see what happens. So in the real time FPS meter, as you can see, I'm getting only 59, 60, that's it. It's not increasing more than that. So even if you try to change the different different settings, this is a demonstration only friend, just to show you what is happening with the both phones in terms of the refresh rate, whether it's increasing or not FPS. That is what my pain point of making this kind of video. So in case if you want me to do a separate video on the battery, battery royal, I think even the battery royal should be kind of same kind of scenario as well. So we should be experiencing same kind of uh, things even with the battery royal game.
So if you use a brightness trick in the Realme X and Max, then you can actually get this kind of FPS refresh rate increase to 120Hz, same like the Poco F3 GT. But FPS, it's remaining exactly 60 FPS only. You, you cannot increase the FPS count, as you can see. It's showing exactly 60, 60 and 61 FPS. That's it. Not much. Not nothing much more than that in the Realme X on Max device. If you use the brightness trick or maybe another application trick, you can actually get that refresh rate working, but not the FPS meter in this Realme X on Max. So same thing applies even for the battle royale gameplay as well. So, so right now, as you can see, friends, is the battle royale game which I'm trying to do right now. So you can see the real time. Refresh rate is changing up to 120 hertz refresh rate, but you cannot get the 60 FPS working. Let me try to show you exactly. So right now we are getting only 57 FPS. That's it. I'm, I'm touching the screen as well, as you can see, 59 and 60. Same thing even applies for the Poco F3 GT as well. These are settings which I'm trying to use with a medium quality and high FPS count. Medium quality and high FPS count. We are getting maximum up to 63 and 62. That's it. So more than 60, we are getting 61, 62, not 90 FPS. So we are not getting 90 FPS in this phone at this moment. That's the one thing you should definitely understand. So if you use even low quality as well, graphic settings, you, were, you may not be able to get that kind of 90 FPS working. So let me know in the comment section below, using what settings you will get the 90 FPS, let's see. So if you want me to do any other side-by-side -side comparison with other phones, let me know in the comment section below, friends, definitely I'll be able to do those kind of side-by-side -side comparison with other phones. So this is a Dimensity 1200 processor only I'm trying to compare. So we need to compare even with the Snapdragon chipsets as well. That's another thing, Snapdragon 870 uh, smartphones, which I'm having right now. I can do that kind of comparison side-by-side. -side. Mi 11X versus the uh, Poco F3 GT. In case if you are interested, so only depending on the interest only, I'll try to do this kind of comparisons. As you can see, the same thing applies, I think, uh, for the all the phones as well in terms of the FPS for this kind of dimension 1200. So even in the Poco F3 GT as well, same kind of things I'm experiencing. As you can see, when the real-time FPS meter, it's remaining only 60 FPS, 61, that's it, not much. So thank you for watching.